Hey, it's John from Riley's Uniques. Today I'm going to be painting this French Provincial dresser. I'm going to be using a blue juniper kilts uh, chalk paint for the cabinet part in the drawers. And I'm going to use the uh, Black Dog uh, furniture paint for the top. And this is a brown color. I think it's called dirt. And... I'm going to start off by prepping the drawers and all I'm going to do is just uh, take off the hardware. I'm going to use a uh, drill to make it go faster. Um, you can use a screwdriver, it goes a lot slower, but if you're doing this for a living like I am, you would like to get a, a small drill where you can uh, take them off quite a bit faster and then when you go to put them back on it's a lot faster process too. Now I'll just speed this up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch all that. You know how it's done. And then what I do is I take my vacuum and then I vacuum out all the dust um, where the drawers were because this is an older piece so there's always a little bit of dust in there. You want to make these pieces as clean as possible for your customers. Um, the cleaner and more professional they look, the more money you can get out of them. Next, I'll rough up the uh, surface of the dresser with the 60 grit sandpaper, and I just use a sand block to give me something to uh, apply pressure with. And this isn't too hard of a process. I just go over the whole thing and just let the 60 grit um, dig into the finish to give the paint a little bit something extra to stick to. Chalk paint and furniture paint, you normally don't, it's not necessary to sand the tops or the finish but i do it uh just for extra precaution because i want my pieces to last a little longer and it only takes me like a minute or two to do it so it's no big deal on this next process i just take a wet damp cloth and i wipe out off the uh, dust where i done my sanding and I also take this uh, cloth after I rinse it off and I wipe inside where the drawers goes just to get that little bit of dust out also. Makes it a little bit cleaner and uh, more professional looking. I also use this fabric uh, spray. It's kind of like uh, Febreze. If I get this at Dollar General, it's only a dollar for a bottle of this. And it works exactly the same as Febreze. And I think it costs you like five bucks. So it's a little, little saving tip there for you. But I spray inside uh, all my dressers. It gives them a nice, clean, fresh smell. Just like a new blanket. And I do the same thing to the inside of my drawers. Again, it only takes a minute to do it. And it's a little extra step that helps uh, sell my product. I have other videos on my channel showing how I apply my paint, but uh, I do the same thing on all of my pieces. I get coverage first, um, get my paint all over the surface of the dresser or whatever I'm painting. And then I take my brush and start from top and go to the bottom to get my straight lines. And that makes for a real smooth, even uh, paint job with a brush. I'll speed these uh, paints up just a little bit for you. When I'm painting the front and the, where the drawers are at, I always take and paint the insides of the trim where the drawers go. Because when you shut your drawers, especially when they sit inside of the frame, you can see like the white or whatever color it was before. And uh, if you paint the inside of the trim, it'll match perfect and uh, it'll look a lot better.
And with the top, I do the same thing as I do with the rest of the cabinet. I just get my coverage with my paint on, and then I go from left to right, or right to left, however it's more comfortable for you. And I uh, do straight across uh, brush strokes to get straight lines and continuous lines and no brush marks in the top of my pieces, my furniture pieces. And there you have it. Here's the finished product. I'll sell this one for at least $299. This probably took me about, I would say, a couple hours from start to finish. With dry time and wait time. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.